Hi, this is Mark Richards with Infolink Consulting, and today we are going to put a fix into this mapping to fix the entity type issue. And if you recall from our profile, the problem with the entity type was there were two problems in here. The first was that university and university appeared twice, once with an uppercase U, once with a lowercase U, and hospital was spelt incorrectly in here, so we're going to go and fix those two problems. Um, and a, a good little tip here, if, if you're looking for a little bit more screen real estate, is you can minimize some of these windows here. Um, and again, entity type is what we want to divert. So as I did with gender, I'm just going to delete that balloon string, and I'm going to pull in a new expression calculation here, and I'm going to call this X fix entity type and I'm going to pull entity type from here and I'm going to rename it to be in entity type and now I'm going to restore my window down here scroll a little bit take a look at my ports and I'm going to add a new port in here for out entity type and I'm going to make it the same as the input and this is an output and it's not an input so I'm going to go in here and first thing I'm going to do is put a useful little uh, function in here initCap if you're an Oracle person then you'll know initCap basically takes um, any field name and makes the first character of every word uh, capital so that should fix the problem with university uh, so the only thing that we have left will be the uh, hospital and the function that I want to use for that is a function called replace string so I'm going to use the syntax for that and I'm going to encapsulate this init cap within this separate function so we're going to do two of them at the same time and I'm going to look for instances where that hospital is spelt incorrectly and I want to change them to hospital like so. So I'm going to validate the expressions valid, click OK. Um, again I'm just going to profile this on the fly, click profile now and take a look at the progress and see my profile is running and it's completed. So immediately that I see that the difference between my in entity and my out entity is uh, I have two fewer in here. So that looks very promising. I'll just take a look at the input. Here's the two universities. Here's the two university hospitals. If I look at the output, I now only have one university and one university hospital. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to take my out entity type here and I'm going to connect that up to my sort, uh, which means I'm going to send my cleansed entity type forward to my database. And one final thing on here, I just want to clean up. Uh, you'll notice that I still have an output port here on in entity type. I don't really want that. The only reason that I kept that in there uh, is so that I could view both of these fields within the profile because the profile is only going to show the output ports in here. So if I get rid of output here, that little um, circle will disappear and I will no longer that will no longer show up on any profile that I do on on this transformation. Okay. So we are in a lot better place here. We've done some cleansing on two data columns and we've written it out to a database. In our next demo, I am going to take this same mapping and I'm also going to write out an aggregate table.